Welcome to Comcast High School Sports on Demand, powered by MaxRuff.com. I'm Ref Nichols. Today's game is being played at Wheeler Fieldhouse in Sugarland, Texas. The Fort Bend Outback Tournament has come down to the final two teams. This is the 17th year for the tournament, and the Bush Broncos have made it to the championship round for the seventh straight year, winning four. Tonight, the Broncos go for back-to-back -back Outback Championships as they take on Crosstown rival and defending state champions, the Tigers of Travis High School. Last year, the Broncos beat the Tigers three out of four times, the fourth meeting being the Region 3 Championship. Travis took that game and went on to Austin. This is the first time these two teams have faced off since that game. Rankings, records, none of that matters. These two teams respect each other, but there's not a lot of love lost between them. In the first quarter, the Tigers jump out to an early lead. Donald Monroe gets great inside position. He wins the fight for the ball, and he gets the lefty put back off the glass. Travis is now at 19-12. Robert Johnson drains a three with 30 seconds left in the first. In the second quarter, Bush makes a run. Eden Ewing is unstoppable in the paint. Then long shots lead to fast breaks. Brandon Gattaway outlets to Ewing, who sidesteps the defender for the layup. The Broncos are now down by one, 24-23, with five and a half minutes left before the half. Here's something that Coach Ronnie Courtney has to be very happy about. Donald Monroe shooting the ball with a lot more confidence, which also means a lot better accuracy. A great pass inside, Brahman Hamid to Hakeem Butler for two. This time is Ronald Monroe from outside. A Craig Bronson team will always do two things well, play great defense and run the floor. 6'4 junior Jawan Williams with the slam. Travis goes up 34-32. This young man is a handful. Jones powers his way back up for two. Now in the third, Broncos are up 40-37 until Jones scores again, this time from three-point range. Hamid gets away with the travel, then throws the ball out of bounds. The ball goes over to Bush. Travis gets hit with a technical and Ganaway will go to the line to shoot two. He knocks them both down, and the Broncos now lead 45-37. And they get the ball back. Ganaway with the crossover, sidestep. He's hit on the way up, and a nice finish off the glass. Ganaway will go to the line for a chance for a three-point play. Quentin Davis goes hard to the rim. He gets the circus shot to fall, 46-50, with less than a minute and a half left in the third. Ganaway ends the third quarter with a long three. The Broncos go into the fourth of 54-46. Five minutes left in the fourth. Bush leads 58-54. They get back-to-back -back baskets. Travis comes right back with a short run.
Jawan Williams gets the slam, and he puts the Tigers ahead with less than a minute to play. They're up 66-65. Lenore gets the ball up to court quickly. He finds Ganaway in the corner. He's grabbed on the drive and will go to the line to shoot two. Ganaway knocks them both down, and the Broncos go on to win 67-66. Travis takes home the second-place trophy, and the Broncos earn their fifth Outback Championship in six years. I'm Raph Nickerson, and thanks for watching Comcast High School Sports on Demand, powered by MassPreps.com.